Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm with a brand new BMW 5 Series and finally I have the diesel version with me and I will do a proper review. Also the test drive video, the consumption videos will be on the channel in a separate uh, video. If you want to see it, check it out on the channel. Probably they are already there. And in this video we will make the full review. Interior, exterior, material quality, space, multimedia system, everything about this new BMW 5 Series you will find out in this video so stay with me because it will be a very interesting car probably 5 Series Mercedes C-Class those cars are one of the most wanted car for many people in the world and to be honest I have the car for two days now and I'm I'm crazy impressed I mean forget about the rest man when it when it's about BMW it has so unique feeling when you're driving it and not only when you're sitting inside that make you want to own one because yeah it's just fabulous anyway before we start the review exterior interior I want to give you some technical data and information price and then we will start with a review first of all the version that I have with me is the 520 DX drive is the all-wheel drive version with a diesel engine and let me start by telling you the price of the car that I have with me it's around 90,000 euro with all these options included right here that I will take you through as the video go but the most important thing that I definitely recommend it are the seats Veganza seats and if you want to take it in this white smoke that looks just incredible you can see and I will show you also as we go in the video this white smoke look just crazy crazy nice and it's only 769 euro to choose to have it in white and from my point of view it's changed completely the interior of the car you will see a little bit later another important thing that I definitely recommend you to get it this package the innovation package interior camera parking assist professional uh, BMW live cockpit and interactive BMW natural because here you have this parking assist professional that it's crazy I mean the car can park itself and from my point of view it's one of the best parking assist that you can get on the market today and I have a separate video on my channel with this uh, and how it works so check it out because it will be really interesting also another thing that I think make a lot of sense are also these ventilated seats in the front the comfort package with all this stuff like heated seats front and back and climatic system with uh, four zones I will show you also a little bit later and all these optional price are 24,410 euro but together the price of the car is 90,000 euro the starting price is around 63,000 1843 euro so to be honest it's not that expensive when we think about at driving feeling quality it's a BMW it's a 5 series it's not that big it's big but not that big so for the people that have the money I totally recommend you to go for it because you will never regret I want to start with the technical data and then we will start the review so as I said before it's the diesel version that means it comes with a 2 liter diesel engine 4 cylinders in line it's a mild hybrid system it's the second mild hybrid system the second generation that means it's much more improved than the, than the previous one that means it comes with a 48 volt battery that is under the trunk I will show you later and with a small electric motor that produce around 11 horsepower 25 Newton meters and of course the diesel engine they work together and of course it's an all-wheel drive version because it's a X drive that means the, the car drive permanently the all four wheels also all this technology it's connected to an eight speed automatic transmission Steptronic and the combination it's phenomenal check out the test drive to see how it run on the road and the power total power of the car 197 horsepower 400 newton meters the top speed of the car 228 kilometer per hour 0 to 107.3 seconds around 143 157 co2 grams emission the consumption 5.56 liter estimated vltp we will test that in a separate video so check out that video as well the trunk space 520 liters more than enough from my point of View, even though it's a sedan entrance it's pretty spacious and I will show you a little bit later the fuel tank capacity 60 liters 
ground clearance 15.4 centimeters the drag coefficiency 0.24 and the turning circle and here i want to talk a little bit with you because when it comes to turning circle usually the car have around 12.4 meter but if you get the optional integral active steering they call it that means the rear wheels will turn as well depending on the speed and that will give the car even though it's so big and it start to be bigger and bigger and as you saw in europe the car start to be bigger and bigger every year or every model it's a little bit bigger a little bit bigger and this bmw 5 series it's actually a big car and when you need to turn in small curves this will be insane and a driving feeling the handlings on the twisty roads the feeling it's insane i really love this and i think this feature it's it's insanely useful and if you get this integral active steering you will get the turning circle at 11.8 meters so it's quite good and i also try it and no problem other than that the car come with ventilated brake this on the front ventilated brake this on the rear double wishbone suspension on the front and independent multi-link suspension on the rear and normally we have on the car 18 inch wheels with the winter tires but they are not the original rims that are included in this price because the original rims they are 20 inch rims i have it right here the 20 inch rims and the price was around 2860 euro but because they changed the tires and they changed also the size they install the winter tires so they are different and yeah sadly those 18 inch they don't look so good on the car but the 20s one they are fab the car looking insane i will show you that also when we go outside so i think those are the most important technical data about the car let's go outside guys to start the review this is the key of the car very nice very modern i i quite like it and i like the fact that it's pretty light the buttons are here on the side and the bmw logo is the button to lock the car and here it's to unlock the car and also you have this button to open the trunk so if you hold it for a few seconds the trunk will be open even if it's a small sedan trunk you can open it and also close it from the key and this is super super useful from my point of view other than that if you hold this key you lock it if you hold this unlock button you will see that if you hold it more than a few seconds the car will open the windows as well this is a cool feature and also if i remember well if you hold the finger right here on this one you can lock it completely and you can close from here also the windows and not only the windows but also the mirrors because the mirrors come with uh, electric active folding and unfolding so how cool is that anyway this is what you can do with the key now i want to turn on the lights and we will talk a little bit about the exterior design i also turn on the lights so we can see the lights the way they look also i have a separate video on my channel if you want to see the lights in the nighttime the way they look interior exterior check it out now first of all when we talk about the exterior i like very much that bmw still keep that classic look of a bmw and the thing is that on this new bmw 5 series as you probably know bmw want to go with that crazy design when it comes to kidney grill in the front bigger kidney grill like on the free series for example but they kind of hear the haters and the lovers of the bmw that everybody said that they want a smaller grill and they bring it back on this 5 series and in general they still keep that classic look of the car but the car come with some improvement look improvement design improvement um, lines and so on and from my point of view i pretty pretty much like it i mean it looks nice it's quite big and over the years it's bigger and bigger as i said before but it's beautiful it's elegant it's business it's a car that every single person no matter of the job can drive it so even a ceo can drive this car even a doctor or lawyer or whatever and even a normal person like i don't know a sporty person like a football player like basketball player it, it's a really really beautiful car and the interior and the driving feeling it's phenomenal so basically 
I like the way it looks and also it attracts a lot of look on the street. I drive it on the street and people really look at the car. Not sure why, probably because it's a new one, probably they don't see too many 5 Series on the street these days, but they look at the car and it's definitely beautiful and that means it's good because it stands out. What I like very much, and I'm a big fan, I know these days is no more in trend, but I like very much the chrome, the gray mat that they use on the grill. The chrome, from my point of view, signify elegance, business. I don't know, this is my opinion. Look at the chrome around the window, it looks so nice. Too bad I don't have the original rims to show you uh, how nice they fit, but the chrome around the window, the chrome on the lights, on the tail lights, the chrome down there where usually should be some exhaust pipes, but they are not. No more exhaust pipes and I like that. Really clean design. Everybody these days try to hide those exhaust pipes, not everybody. I saw some cars that uh, surprisingly, even though they have a plug-in hybrid, they have exhaust pipes and they are visible, but no. Now it's much cleaner design. They try to hide it. Uh, they go a little bit um, undercover like that, let's say. I love the front hood. The hood, the lines, this area looks so aggressive, so beautiful. And also it comes across to the grill that the grill is lovely. It's illuminated in the nighttime. It has some LED light integrated right here. You have these chrome lines, plus it has some active flaps, active aerodynamic flaps, they kind of call it. And here it's completely closed. Down here, the same flaps are completely closed. They close and they open depending what the engine needs. Right now it's cold, they stay closed. When it's hot, they open to allow the air to go inside to cool down the engine and the different parts right there. Here's the radar behind here, behind this area for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety features. You have the camera in front for 360 degrees camera. I will show you later. Other than that, it's pretty simple down here. Really nice and simple design. On the M version, phew, it looks much more aggressive, much more different. But on this version, pretty simple, pretty elegant. The way it should be, six sensors for parking and for other safety features. Here you have some active air intakes that goes the air around here. And then actually, actually they are passive air intakes because they don't move. Actually the air will go there, will go around here, the wheel to improve the aerodynamic of the car. So pretty cool. A little bit higher, you have the BMW LED and their laser LED matrix light. You can see the thousand of little mirrors inside there and in the nighttime look phenomenal and also in the daytime they still hold that kitty cat look from my point of view. So as, as I said in the beginning they still keep that classic BMW look and I love the turning signals. I mean they have this new pulsing light. They are very similar with the Mazda one. You can see it, the pulsing light look gorgeous and the color and the kind of a crystal design that the light it send through this part, this element, look just uh, lovely, really, really lovely. The front end of the car, it's simple but classy, classy, this is the word, classy, 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 super nice. Anyway, the windshield, up here you have the cameras for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist, all that stuff. Uh, they work with those cameras. They also defrosted in this area. Here is the sensor for light and raining. And yeah, you will see in the test drive video because I will talk about all these lane assist, adaptive cruise control and autopilot. I will test it and you can see how it works there. Now, those are the mirrors, really beautiful. And I like this mirror leg that it's in the same color, the same kind of chrome mat uh, that goes down here. It's so unique. And this is something that you see only on the BMW and it comes right here and then you can see the camera for 360 degrees camera. Super, super nice. And then all the chrome, it comes across on the down part, some glossy inside, black. So, so much attention to details. It's something that I really, really like. Then big enough mirrors, good visibility, blind spot technology in the corner, chrome around the windows of the car, some piano black, piano black tinted windows on the rear and here on the side. You have the five right here. This is cool, this is new, this is really, really nice. And you have another five right here if you open the door. Right here is another five. So cool. 
directly on the body. Then you have the radio antenna, the new one, much more aerodynamic, much more nicer design. In the back here, everything is simple, no lip, no spoiler, X-Drive BMW 520D. And then we have those tail lights with some chrome insertion. Beautiful tail lights in the nighttime, look really, really nice. BMW writing here on the left side, turning signals, super visible. Everything LED, also LED lights on the number plate, plus the reverse camera is down there. And we have six sensors on the rear, again, and then some gray in this area. No fake exhaust pipes or exhaust pipe. As actually, the exhaust pipes are down there. You can see it right here. It's only one on the left side. And what I noticed and I was impressed to see is that if you look down under the car, you can see that the down part, it's quite aerodynamic. It's very similar with the electric cars. That's for improving the aerodynamic. Here's the fog lamp. And other than that, pretty simple. They didn't try to make it aggressive, at least on this version, because the other version with the M package and stuff like that, it's much more uh, aggressive and nice look. Here's the door for the fuel tank. Diesel at blue is here, super good quality also on this uh, handle. I like very, very much the new handles from BMW integrating in the doors, also improved aerodynamic and they are also fancy and the quality is very good and they are also illuminated in the nighttime in the front and also on the rear. So I think I show you almost everything. We will talk a little bit about the rims, but I tell you those are not the original rims. They install the winter tires, the winter tires and that's why they are those 18 inch rims. They are quite fine, ventilated brake discs on the rear and in the front it comes with ventilated brake discs, a little bit bigger, plus uh, the pistons here, uh, it comes with four pistons on the front. Quite nice. Another thing that I like very much right now in this moment, the engine, it's running. I'm a big fan of those diesel engines from BMW because they are so smooth, they are so silent and you barely feel any vibration, uh, any noise when you're driving inside the cabin. It's crazy. That's where we go at. If you want to open this hood, you go from down here two times, uh, classically from BMW. Also guys, when you turn on, but I will show you later. Anyway, I will show you that later. Now let me finish with that. The hood, it's super big. I mean, BMW really, uh, respect the engine I should say this part of the engine it's quite big so they definitely respect the engine if you look at the car look how much part of the car it's allocated to the engine so they respect the engine they care about the engine and that's 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 really important because they make a phenomenal engine look how big is this part here it, it's it's insane it has these stabilization bars and safety features. This is the engine, four cylinders, diesel engine with all their parts. Here is the wiper for the fluid. And this is it, guys. Quite nice. Anyway, every single, uh, every single element in the car, it's super high class. Now, here is the triangle, good quality also up here, the buttons to close the trunk. Here is the entrance, relatively big, 520 liters. Quite, quite big from my point of view, you can fit in here. Super, super many items. So even if you have a family with kids, you can install, you can fit in here, big items without any problem. You have an LED light up here. You have some storage space in the left, here in the right side. Here you have the button for the hook. So all you have to do is just press it and the hook will come out completely automatically alone. You don't have to touch it and then press it one more time. It goes back. You don't have to touch it. You don't have to get dirty. Some plastic at the entrance. You don't have a flat floor, maybe 15 centimeters here, but it is what it is. So this is the way uh, it looks. Now I promise you that I will show you under here. I'm not sure if I can manage to do that with the camera in the hand in the same time. Oh, come on. But the battery is under here. You don't have any space under here. Here's the, the 48 volt battery under this floor. So usually it's not made to be open. Now here are the hooks. In every corner you have any uh, hook. From here you can fold down 
the seats the great part is that you can fold down the middle part so you can have two passengers and carry your long items and skis and stuff like that so let me show you up here you have a button like that and you can do that and in the same time you have two passengers in the back and carry your long items mega mega useful and of course you can also fold down the seats like that and the other one let me do it from this side and then this is the space that you will have right here so you can make an idea the way it looks relatively super super useful from my point of view it's more than enough space for the size for the shape of the car it's super good it's big enough it's not a flat floor but relatively big i like also the fact that they they install this rubber here that stop the water uh, to leaking down in the trunk so that's super extra protection and I respect that really attention to small details is very important something that was happening in Tesla Model 3 be before when I had the Tesla Model 3 I have always water and snow in my trunk uh, on the on the previous version and I'm not sure about this new Highland but the previous version I was always having water in my trunk and I was not so happy about that anyway I want to adjust the seats the front seat in my driving position so I can show you the real space and also I want to turn off the climatic system where was that here because I don't need right now the heating but I want to adjust the seats let me adjust it in my driving position so I can show you how much yeah this is my driving position definitely almost my driving position but this is just perfect like that I want to show you how much space you have uh, when we go inside but before we go inside I want to talk a little bit about those features right here so you have also this privacy protection it's not electrically it's just manually but it's super fun and useful to have it two windows one fix one can be fold down and I will show you right now how much you can fold it completely that's great super useful very good quality soft material everywhere so super super high quality on the upper side super high quality leather here you can see the stitches good quality leather here this is the handle it's super fancy and also it feels very good quality then you have the speaker Bower and Wilkins speakers very very good sound system and also look at the design man it looks so so nice love the design really really unique some storage space here relatively big and even down here you have soft material so it's not a proper plastic it's a nice nice material entrance in the car it's big enough I love the fact that the windows are completely on the door anyway look at this the rubber here and the quality the details so so impressive and also on the upper side you have some rubber here really impressive the way they look but the fact that you have the windows on the door allow you to have a bigger entrance right here in the in the car and that's super super important and you can see from here very clear uh, how big the entrance is and you can see this beautiful beautiful interior uh, it looks from my point of view those white seats I definitely recommend you to get it for 700 800 euro extra definitely deserve check out the uh, panoramic a glass roof that you can open it let me show you something you can open it from here guys you just press it like that and you can uh, open this completely yeah just like that and it looks so so nice you have the buttons right here above you and if you go like that if you press it it will lock let me show you yeah and then you can close it open it and close it from here and it goes automatically and another thing that I want to show you if I remember well the buttons were where are they here on the door this button right here it's for the curtain in the back so if you press it check this out you close that curtain there and if you press it one more time you just let it down super fancy super fancy super cool feature privacy protection you can close it also for for sun and stuff like that it's mega useful anyway other than that beautiful interior love the seats love the seats quality I love the fact that the seats they come until here on the side of the of the door until 
to the rubber so you don't have any plastic in this area uh, the people that stay in the back they will be super comfortable and you have this combination of black leather with white leather super nice perforated seats design isofix for child seats even the the plastic for the child seats uh, it's in white and i like that very much it's not black it's white and it looks so so nice the quality the comfort i sit on them it's unimaginably good then here on the b pillar you have a vent because you have four zone climatic system on this version optional of course i like the fact that even the plastic behind the front seat it's in white i love that that make uh, the interior much much nicer and brighter usb-c some uh, hooks here and then you have up here some led light in the nighttime you can see it have a button here you can adjust also the headrest electrically i'll show you later and then of course you have the transmission tunnel that's quite big around 20 centimeters that's classy but that because the transmission transition tunnel it's right here in the middle that allow you to have your seat, your legs all the way down so you don't have any space here like in electric cars you have a position super super comfortable on the seats and i'm 173 centimeters and this is the space behind myself huge space for me man i mean it's so huge space i can stretch my legs under the front seats and i still have plenty of uh, leg room so no problem headroom uh, like five fingers no problem for me I sit really really well here the visibility is insanely good because they extend the window and they install the window on the door that allow you to have a bigger entrance in the car plus better visibility so the visibility is just perfect really really good um, same good it's also the quality on the roof uh, very good quality handle hook here microphone and then you have also those led lights in yellow super super fancy and here in the middle you have the vents super nice design they design it a little bit higher and also they are covered by this uh, this is not plastic it's a soft material on the upper side super super nice quality uh, i think it's also leather the same as here super nice quality then down here you have two usb-c super useful plus this climatic system that you can control and change the temperature and different information right here plus the van speed you can turn it off completely it works nice and it looks super super nice and then you have some storage space down here for different items now if you want to go in the middle let's say you want to go in the middle you can do that and you can you can go right here in the middle and this is the space more than enough yeah I don't know for me it's more than enough you cannot stay with your legs together but it's more than enough space also in the front you can see the seats and here I have less space like three fingers stretch my hand completely stretch my hand completely three people here no problem and surprisingly guys the comfort down here it's pretty pretty good man it's not that stiff as in other cars I like the fact that you have you don't have any side support here and you have everything it's flat and it feels like a sofa and even on the back wow that's probably one of the most comfortable middle part middle seat that i ever been and it's a sedan i mean i didn't expect that man it's it's nice i think i can stay here also for medium to long trips without any problem and i have also a very beautiful view ahead if you look at the view in the front and on the glass roof it's it's just gorgeous really beautiful anyway now we will go in the front there are the big big boys uh, big elements big changes it looks phenomenal look at the front dashboard look at the steering wheel i love the steering wheel the shape of the steering wheel is so futuristic not only beautiful but so easy when i drive it i find out that it's so so easy to control it and to rest your arms and to to work on it the new screen curved screen 14.9 inch if i remember well there is like 12.4 or something like that anyway it's it's really beautiful it's big enough super resolution super design also some woodish insertion in gray everything it looks nice also some ambient light inserted in the dashboard but yeah 
let's go in the front to talk about those things. Here you have a big window from one piece uh, that means good visibility. I will show you when we go inside. Here the same, same soft, high quality material, leather here, white stitches. You have some black uh, piano, black insertion here. And what I like the most is the fact that those touch buttons are integrated in this black area with some nice uh, ambient light and you can set the position for electric seats from here if you press it it gets you to the seat uh, settings so all you have to do is just press it lock and unlock then you have some ambient light here the ambient light inside this BMW 5 series is not that beautiful as it is on BMW i5 uh, where you have the full electric version have much more beautiful lights a little bit bigger kind of a crystal light but it's still super super nice from my point of view then you have some woodish insertion the handle looks so nice and futuristic then you have here the buttons as you saw before for the windows lock uh, and unlock it's up here and here we have electric adjustable mirrors down here the button to open the trunk some storage space not that big I wish it was a little bit bigger but the quality is quite good also on the down part plus a speaker here some textile material in this area the entrance in the car it's relatively big so you can see from this uh, angle and you can see uh, the beautiful seats the beautiful white seats they look gorgeous and they are super comfy I sit on them and they are, they, are, they are mega comfortable. Down here you can adjust the seats in every position you want, even the lumbar part from here you can adjust it. Uh, so this is super useful. The same plastic in white, I like that. Then you can adjust also the front part and you have normal pedals, no aluminum pedals on this version. But if you look from this angle, you will see how nice and how beautiful uh, it looks, uh, those seats. They are of course ventilated and heated seats perforated in the middle here and you can adjust if I'm not wrong even the headrest look at this you can adjust that headrest electrically from down here anyway now here you have the position of the vents so where you want to send the air you can adjust it from here and it's a small rubber that's super high quality this is the new technology and from here come the air it's super nice because you don't have any more vents the vents are in integrated somewhere uh, in the dashboard and it's so nice from those areas you adjust those vents up here led lights from here you can close it and open it the vent with a touch you can see right just like that just like that with the finger you can choose how you like the vents open or completely close how cool is that a little bit uh, on the right side we have the settings for the light so you press this it gets you directly to the settings of the lights and then from here of course you can turn on and off the lights put it on auto and stuff like that and the rear fog lamp soft material on the dashboard everywhere and from here you adjust the steering wheel electrically down up forward backward simple as that now let me go inside the car where it's pretty warm and nice the visibility around the windows as i said because it's extended like that it's a great great visibility also in the mirrors love the mirrors one more time look at the chrome down there it looks lovely good visibility on the windshield practically it's almost perfect also very good visibility even though it's a sedan, I mean, it's, you have really, really good visibility in this mirror up here. So I'm surprised on how good was the visibility when I drive the car around the windows. Pretty good visibility as well. In the back, you can see one more time. You can see also the seats in the back one more time down here. Leather, soft material, leather here. This is the button to open this. Plenty of space right here. And if I'm not wrong, here you have a 12 volt port. LED light and in the middle center console you have this piano black really beautiful the center console with those crystal effect here it's not a crystal of course but it has this crystal beautiful effect and also on the shift by wire transmission from here you change uh, the driving modes and also in this crystal design the start stop button and also this wheel right here it looks so so cool so unique and yeah it's, it's impressive i mean uh, every time people see that uh, for the first time they were like oh my god i didn't see that until now it looks so cool and uh yeah my cameraman as well it was like oh wow it looks so nice anyway auto hold uh electronic 
uh, parking this is the parking and from here you can choose a different driving mode you have the s mode so you can put the gearbox in s i'll talk about that in the test drive video so check it out also if you want to go in different modes you just press this one it gets you to different driving modes and from here you change those new driving modes like personal sport efficient expressive relax and digital art every time you change those driving modes the graphic will change also on the cockpit and also it will change different settings in the car if you go and relax you can see all those will close and that comes up and stuff like that so depending on driving mode a lot of stuff changing inside the car the ambient the climatic system stuff like that and the lights and the colors but the most important and the main important are efficient and sport mode of course efficient mode it's kind of an echo mode and sport mode when you go in sport mode everything turned to red and even the cockpit is changing in a different different ways so you can see the colors you can see it looks different now and if you go back to let me show you if you go back to efficient it goes back to blue and and bigger and yeah that that's really cool BMW finally come with an incredible digital cockpit and also multimedia I really like it from here you can go to settings of the car that means you can adjust the driver assistance systems the most important safety features for example here you find all that uh, front collision warning lane departure warning lane changing warning um, side collision warning, road purity warning, exit warning, uh, alternative assist, speed warning, all those stuff I recommend you in the beginning of the video to get it as an option and it totally deserves the money. Then you have the parking and on the parking you have a lot of settings as well like signals, stuff like that. I don't want to go into all because we need ears, we need two hours to make this video. Then you have the speed uh, assist distance control route and junction assist because bmw come with some super crazy feature that will assist you also in junction on the route you know when it comes roundabouts and stuff like that it will slow down and ooh, if you go here cornering speed slow and stuff like that there are so so many cool features that i probably have to do a complete video only about those things assisted driver lane changing assist emergency corridor assist so so many features feedback via steering wheel i like that because it gives you some vibration in the steering wheel sometimes and then you have the chassis chassis you have driver support off and then you have parking brake uh, you can yeah automatically apply the parking brake and then you have snow chain yeah we don't need that and then you have this button here for 360 degrees camera and 360 degrees camera mean that this is one of the best system out there man I, I was so impressed to see it for the first time and now bmw use it on most of the cars this is also one that i recommend you and then you can record that you can park yourself automatically it has so so many uh, safety features panoramic view you have this more and if you go to 3d you can see in real time what happened around the car check this out how cool is that look at this man it looks nice and it's so clear man it's everything it's perfect in real time whatever happened around the car you can see it right here it's so many cool features and then of course you can control this multimedia from this controller here you have navigation telephone all that stuff you can go directly in the shortcuts and it's much more easier to use i drive the car yesterday a lot and i i have to be honest with you man i'm so impressed with how easy it is to control from here i don't even need to use the touch I use the touch when the car is sitting but in general I use also those controllers and it's much more easier once you learn it it's much more easier to to see your road and stay attention to the road but in the same time to control different things uh, the navigation I don't even need to tell you it's incredible precise rapid uh, it has a new hardware and uh, the software the graphic look gorgeous you can see right now on the navigation the buildings in three dimensional way so if you go in the city you can see the 3d buildings they are impressively precise and clear and they are just crazy love it and you can see the parking you can see where they work you can see so many information real time if you start the guidance you can see also the cool part is that you can see also the camera 
Not only on the head-up display, by the way, you can see the head-up display in front there with all that graphic and map. And you can see on the head-up display so many information is directly on the windshield. It's so good, nice integration there. I, I definitely love this head-up display. I think it's one of the best. And you can also change from here, from the steering wheel, you can go and change the head-up display view. So you have many views let me zoom in a little bit so i can show you so you have this navigation you have the possibility to see what happened with the autopilot and cruise control you can somehow customize it in uh, many ways and from my point of view as i said before i think i think definitely it's it's probably one of the best out there really love the head-up display now you can see also here let me show you you can customize this new digital cockpit that the digital cockpit start to be one of my favorite why is that because it start to be much more um, easy to use and customizable and now you can see here information about consumption here you can see some content and information about um, assistant view for example when you drive the car sensors lane assist all that stuff augmented view mean that you have a front camera it's so clear it's so precise and when you drive it shows you directions where you should go with the navigation left and right and it's also super super useful and then yeah you can see also those directions plus you can see the map you can see the whole whole navigation map in front just like that like a map and also sometimes it shows you a camera uh, this is also very useful and then you have the content with the g meter and media and radio so yeah from my point of view those stuff are super super useful and the digital cockpit the new digital cockpit it's insanely insanely customizable and much better um, nothing to complain and the visibility it's it's crazy good talking a little bit about the steering wheel i show you before you can adjust it electrically i love the shape of it this shape allow you to have phenomenal view from the driver point of view inside here you can see it's a big entrance great visibility also this is a curved screen so you have a very good visibility from the driver point of view you have those pedals here to change the gears manually if you want to have some fun the steering will have a good grip here good grip here 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 and if you when you turn it you have such a good grip and it's so modern love it another thing that i like is the fact that they keep it simple i love that porsche uh, audi the same they keep it simple with the buttons and i like that and they are physical button if you want to set the cruise control you press those buttons they are physical button easy to adjust physical button here on the right side the same easy to control lovely is the way it should be the quality on the single i don't even need to tell you same same high quality as bmw uses with perfect a little bit higher here you have two usb-c again two usb-c some space for two cup holders wireless charging too for your phone again those controllers for the uh, climatic system and the climatic system it's inside here in this area the air will come from here and the air will come from here that's something to know and also from there and also very beautiful insertion soft material everywhere wood insertion you press this button you open the glow box that it's so tiny this is the new trend these days uh, it's not that huge it's pretty good uh, in size but yeah I, I really love the way they design everything it looks so simple and so nice in the same time on the upper side you have a camera in the interior I cannot show you the camera because I don't have I have to log into the BMW but you have this camera and you can see what happened inside the car this is also cool SOS button you have the lights up here you can turn it on from here LED lights from here you uh, close that curtain up there and then here you have some um, mirror with led light so fancy and plus a microphone and the handle up here good let's go to the multimedia the multimedia uh, you saw before it's it's super super the navigation it's crazy responsive you can see also in real time because you have internet connectivity the traffic and all this information down here you have some shortcuts for the media you have for the navigation you have for climatic system this is the menu of the climatic system you don't have any more physical button for climatic system you have to go into the menu or uh, when you are to home for example all you have to do is just go down here to choose the temperature from here you can choose the ventilated seats or heated seats free position quite nice for you and the passenger in the right side otherwise you go here to the 
uh, navigation uh, to the climatic menu and from here you choose the speed you choose to synchronize you choose to put it on auto to leave it only inside and you have all the settings for the climatic system where you want the air to go so that's also pretty impressive and then you go individual settings from here you can adjust different settings um, seat heating distribution automatic and all that stuff you have the front passenger you have the second row and you have so many so many information about um, the climatic system so it's it's impressive how many settings uh, come these days plus you can precondition the car from the application my bmw app you can precondition the car you can heat up you can cool the interior or whatever you want to do uh, it's great that you can do that this is the home screen now it's a new home screen you have a car right here the live uh, view of the car that shows you what happened with the car so for example if you turn on the, the lights the lights will all be on if you drive the car you can see the wheel spilling and on the left side you have some information here for example like shortcut information personal assist you have bluetooth you have connectivity device you can connect your your phone then you have also the root planning the consumption here the temperature and then you have the calendar and then on the right side of course you have also there a few options to go directly to the setting my mode live vehicle media and weather so yeah it's pretty simple and if you go here you have the telephone of course you can connect your phone and here you have all the settings of the car all the apps of the cars now you can from what i heard you can install um, yeah also third part apps like youtube so you have youtube here it's not working right now because i have to log in to the bmw in order to work and i don't have a log uh, but you can watch youtube and i show you that in a video if you uh, saw my first video with bmw 5 series or i5 i show you that and it works super nice plus you can watch bundesliga from what i remember i don't know why it's not here on this one but uh, yeah um or I don't remember well I think so anyway personal hotspot you have weather you have vehicle status if the vehicle have some errors or stuff like that uh, then you have the system settings and here you find all the settings of the car from date and time language voice command units you can change to kilometer miles sound system gesture control touch screen pop-up notifications and more and more do not disturb so many settings don't want to make the video too long then you have the seats and comfort from seat and comfort you can kind of customize and adjust the seats so from here you can basically adjust it electrically look at this this will move down there you can go up and look at this you see it's moving right now you see that it's moving by moving these arrows you just press it up down left right it's so so cool so convenient and you can do that with all the position you have also this part you can adjust the seats from here uh, it's it's insane i mean it's it's really really uh, it's so complex this multimedia you have so many information and settings the parking you already saw before i don't know if i show you the 360 degrees camera uh, you can see what happened around the car you can see from every angle it comes more and more features you can park the car yourself you can record the new pads and park your car automatically the car can park automatically also from my bmw app there are so many trailer couple view because it comes also with that hook you can see the wash view uh, you can clean actually the cameras and you can go even to settings assisted view so so many many infos let me go back to where was i here news navigation my mode device here you can connect your mobile so you have apple carplay and uh, of course android auto you can connect it to the car then you have live vehicle key of course you can transform your phone into the key you don't need the physical key you can use your phone as well if you have your car uh, reading lights from here you can play with lights also from the screen ambient light you can change the colors brightness it comes with so many colors 
Uh, I show you in a separate video that and cockpit brightness at night. And then you have, of course, the interior camera. It's not working right now, but it's cool because you can see it in the nighttime. Uh, plus you have the exterior lights. You can play with them. Um, yeah, exterior lights, you probably know it already. It's just from here. You can also adjust it. And additional settings to high beam assist. You have high beam assist, driver settings. You already saw it. And then you have door and locks displays, climatic system, country information. You have air console games. Now this is a new thing. You have games like in Tesla now. Uh, BMW come with a few, yeah, let's say uh, games that you can play when you get bored in the car. And probably this will expand in the future because I saw in more and more cars, um, this feature will come. Uh, I need to be software update. Otherwise, it's not working. And then you have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And finally, I finish. I'm not finished. There are much more things to show you, but I will need years uh, to do that. So we will probably need to make a separate video with this one. And I I'm not sure if I did it already. If I did it, I think you can check out on the internet, uh, BMW 5 Series new multimedia system or something like that. And probably you will find it on my channel. Guys, that was the video. The car is insanely, insanely complex and the quality in a bmw it's is no match or it, it has some match it has some competition of course but it's insane i really love it i i don't have too many things to complain about this car i mean if you have the money for it go for it because you will definitely not regret uh, it's an insane car and i hope you get some useful information from this video i hope the video was useful you can see the car for yourself go do a test drive and see if you like it but uh, i think you will be impressed with how good the car it is so that was the video thank you very much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe i will really appreciate that guys so thank you very much to all of you that watching my videos really appreciate that other than that stay safe don't miss out the test drive video with the same car don't miss out the consumption video with the same car and yeah i guess i see you soon in the next one thank you for watching bye guys